Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be removing this set. I've had this particular design on for about a week and a half, but these tips I've had on for four weeks now. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the color and do a different set. So I'm going to be using my uh, Melody Susie drill and an extra coarse bit. I usually do my removal at about, I, have, I graduated to 15 <laughs> and I'm going to be in the forward position. While I only showed the removal of two products in this video, I did do all of my prep and fill off camera and I will come back when I am ready to apply the polish. I do want to make note that some of my videos are out of order, especially when I have to do PR and um, collaboration videos and those need to get out in a certain time and I've already had videos pre-recorded. So for the most part, this is a little old because these are the tips that I apply with that full cover nail glue from Born Pretty that comes in the brown tube and I think I uploaded that video last week. However, I originally put these tips on like a month ago for Nails by E collaboration. So that was actually the first set that I did with these full cover tips. This happened to be the second. And so for the most part, I've had these tips on for a month and that nail glue has been holding on so strong. I, this is probably my new favorite. And so this is my nails after I have applied or removed the product. So I'm going in with that nail file just to kind of reshape it and straighten up that free edge so it can have a nice crisp shape. I recently swatched and unboxed these Born Pretty colors and I absolutely love this BB. P131, they don't really have names, they have numbers in this cat eye gel. So uh, this is what I'm going to be doing my set with today. Where's my base coat? So I'm going in with the Born Pretty base coat. So I'm going in with this Born Pretty base coat and I am going to do all four fingers on camera. I do happen to do my thumb off camera. And I do want to apologize for my big old fingers uh, getting in the way. And so at some um, clip parts of the video, you can't really see me applying my base coat because my hand is in the way. I do need to get a angle my camera a little different. That way you can see as I am applying my base coat. However, the viscosity of viscosity of this uh, base coat is on the uh, medium-ish side. So it's not too uh, runny, but it's also not thick as well. So I am loving that. Um, so I can get a nice clean application without having to worry about uh, too much uh, getting on my cuticle area. So you want to make sure before you cure your gel, you want to make sure you go in, clean up any of that gel that may have gotten on your sidewalls or, or your skin because that can cause lifting. With me, it's always a clean up <laughs> because I almost always get polished on my skin. So you, I will always want to remember to do that. So here I'm going in with this Born Pretty Polish. It is BP131. I absolutely love this color. This has to be one of my favorite colors that I have received from Born Pretty. Um, the only thing I want to make note for me in the future is I definitely have to get most of that access polish off my brush before going in 
because when I tell you this was a struggle trying to get so much of that polish off of my uh, nail because I did not originally take off all that access. So I was getting polish everywhere. It definitely flooded my cuticle area. <laughs> And so for the future, I want to make sure that you, um, to prevent this, you are getting most of that polish off of that brush and then dipping it back into your liking. So I pretty much did that this go around where I took all of the polish off the brush and then went back in to get the amount that I needed. And so that helped with preventing that polish from flooding my cuticle area like you did that first nail. This is full coverage with one coat. That is amazing. That's why I l absolutely love these Born Pretty products. You don't even need two coats <laughs> um, to get that full coverage look on your nails. So now I'm going in with this cat eye gel and I'm going to apply this to the entirety of my nail before going in to complete the design. And I believe on this one, I did the flower design on this one. So originally that flower i messed it up and one thing i like do like about these cat eye gels that until you cure it the design is not set in place so you can always go over and start over if you make a mistake now this second attempt was perfect so i did go ahead and cure that for the full 60 seconds and that is what that flower is looking like and so i did use a different magnet to create a different design on each finger that has the cat eye gel. Once I finish with the cat eye, I am going to wipe that tacky layer off of the gel polish. And that is because I am going in with these stickers to apply to my nails. 
And the reason why I take that tacky lid off because I did find that sometimes the stickers don't want to be sticky <laughs> when they have that tacky layer. It sometimes come up. Um, it also depends on the stickers because some stickers I can get away with leaving the tacky layer and then others I can't. So for the most part, I just take it off just to be on the safe side. So now I'm going in with this super top coat from Born Pretty. I absolutely love this top coat. It is probably in my top three of top coats that I absolutely love and can't live without. I'm actually running out, so I need to get me some more. But once I apply this top coat, I then convince myself to go in with some bling. And you usually do it the opposite way, but I didn't. <laughs> Because I originally wasn't, but then I changed my mat. Okay, so I am going to be able to use my Born Pretty Rhinestone Glee today. We um, test this out, and I like the fact that it has this precision tube. And so the one thing I like about this precision tube, I am only going to put the gel on the area that I plan on putting a stone which makes that process so much easier and it does help with not having the uh, stone slide around so much because i was able to put the rhinestone on all of my fingers before actually curing it and i did cure it for 60 seconds and i did not go back in and top coat again and i've been wearing this set for almost a week now and i haven't lost a round rhinestone as of yet which is amazing And I really didn't have a idea of where I wanted to put the rhinestones, so I just end up putting rhinestones wherever there were a circle on the flower. I just end up putting a rhinestone there, and it worked out pretty well. <laughs> So this finger was a little bit more difficult because I originally didn't like the size of the rhinestones that I originally put on. Some of them was a little too big and didn't complement each other. And so I did end up taking some off and changing the sizes just so they can match and complement each other. But as you gonna see, it was, it was a little struggle.
I absolutely love these Born Pretty colors. I truly, and when it comes to the rhinestone glue, I absolutely love this precision too. So we'll see how long these rhinestones last. When it comes to the application of the polish, as you have already know, I absolutely love Born Pretty products. I do have a referral link as well as a discount code to get you 10% off your purchase. So go ahead and take advantage of that and save some coins. Go ahead and check that description box for that link and discount code. I think I'm not used to wearing bling, so it seems to be a little much for me. <laughs> But I think it's okay. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not feeling the bling like that. I love this nail. <laughs> I like simple. And so I think this hand is just just a little bit. Much. But I truly appreciate it. If you're new here and you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. To all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Your support do not go unnoticed. My channel would not be what it is today if it wasn't for your continued support. So I truly, truly appreciate it. And until next time, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. What a wonderful world.